Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. There he is. Hey. Hey. Hi, Joey. Hi. See, here's the thing. Look at that. I was blowing my nose, and I don't oh, know. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. Because Brody yeah. made it sound like it was some scandalous thing. I said, so how come Joey can't come in? I can't tell you why. He's got to do something. Nice. And we'll, we'll just bring him in. Do you have a cold? Uh, just a little morning stuffiness. Yeah. We all you know, that. New York stuffiness. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. Morning get, squishy. We have all sorts of things floating through the air here. I'm, yeah. I'm amazed we've lived this long. Wow. Well, it's a lot. Well, we were just talking about... Um, New York and L.A. because I just moved from L.A. Right. So, not that I was there for 15 years and loved it and a lot of love and great experiences, but I was ready for a change. But talk about air qualities. Yeah, <laughs> this is, at New York feels a lot yeah. cleaner. To Isn't me. it weird? New York is actually has cleaner air than That's Los Angeles. Yeah, right. I know. You don't think about it. Well, listen. Welcome to New York on behalf Thank of you. all New Yorkers. Thank you. uh, let me just get a quick call on. But let's start the interview. With I nine, love it. I right to the people immediately. <laughs> so this is Erica. Can you turn my mic up a little bit, Scary? I'm going to ask you one more thing. There you go. Hey, uh, Erica Lee, is that you? Yes, it's me. Tell Joey McIntyre what you're doing tonight. <gasps> oh my goodness! I'm going to go see you tonight in waitress. Thank you. That's good news. I'm so excited. And then I'm going to come see you July 2nd. I'm so excited. Was that the mixtape tour? Yes, that's the mixtape tour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to that too. I'm going, but I'm going for salt and pepper. (laughs) (laughs) That's the idea. (laughs) That's the idea. So have you ever seen Waitress before? I have not. When I saw that Joey was going to be in it, I forwarded it to my husband right away. I'm like, we need to go see this. It's for Joey McIntyre. I love him. It's a great show. Yeah, it is a great show. It's uh, it's a great way to uh, come back to Broadway and great show. And Sarah Bareilles is obviously an amazing artist. And just to you know work with her, she she came to the show last night, which I didn't know. You know, because the does, idea is you don't to make you know. nervous that Sarah Bareilles is in her well, show the, audience. The idea is you know she didn't tell anybody. You know that kind of thing. You don't want to know. Right. Um, you, you always like. The, the idiot who's like, oh my God, so and so's in the audience tonight. Good luck, and you're like, yeah. oh, oh sh- great. Uh, but it was, it was, she's amazing. So and Erica, maybe great. she'll be there tonight too. Well, now you have to be nervous because Erica Lee is going to be there tonight. Exactly. Thank you. I was just about to say that. You oh, Erica, say that. you're going to you're going to love the show. And I, I think the part, I definitely think the part that Joey's playing, I think it was made for Joey, and Joey was made for this part. I'll, we'll get to that in a second. But thank okay. you, Erica. Have a great mm-hmm. night tonight. Okay. All right, I can't wait. I hope to meet you tonight, Joey. Okay, you know uh, I'll be I'll be there outside afterwards. No, 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 don't wait for oh. that. You know what they love at waitress if you just jump yeah, on stage. Yeah. No. <laughs> just <laughs> just gotta order <laughs> something in the diner. Though. Yeah, order a piece of pie. <laughs> well, I'm a gynecologist, so maybe you'd have to do something. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, just get in the stirrups. In the waiting room. Yeah. Hop in the stirrups. <laughs> exactly. Put the mirror down there. Yeah. And... Anyway, so uh, my good friend Eric Bergen played this role as well. Ah. And uh, I was in the audience. He was great. One. Yeah. And, and we I learned something that night. Never tell your friends you're at their show. Because right. the whole night he would he would dance by and he would look at me and, and I could see him going. Uh, that's said, funny. Just look that look in the back. You know, don't look at me. And so he, I know that the lights are bright when you're up on stage, Joey. It's not. Yeah, no. But you can see people, right? A little bit, but actually, I like it. It's it's at a good place for me, anyways, because it's not too not too bright the lights, but you can sort of see people, but not see people. So it's 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 not too bad. So yeah. so you were saying earlier. They walk backstage right before you're about to go out. They say, "Oh, by the way, yeah, President Obama well, is in the yeah, audience." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, so how, a little bit. We got. Uh, do you have to like, turn yourself the, down a little bit and kind of hold on? I mean, um, no. I mean, like I said, you don't want to hear that kind of info. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you just kind of put the blinders on and get out there and have a good time, do your job. Do you miss Boston, Gandhi? Do you I hear do. it? I hear it slightly. I feel like it, he doesn't have a super strong accent, but it's I, it's there a little. Gandhi just moved here from Boston. I, and, I did. And other, I you know, the Red Sox and the accent. She missed How those two. You there? Misses those two things. Uh, almost four years, three and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I hear we have a mutual friend, but we can talk about that. We do have a mutual yeah. friend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. No. Yeah. <laughs> <What? laughs> someone you dated? Someone I worked for. <laughs> yeah. The okay. show I was on. Oh, another guy, Maddie. Another Matt, guy. You can talk about yeah. Maddie. Yeah, yeah. Maddie. Maddie, know him very Maddie well. hates me. He's a. He's a. Well, <laughs> no, he hates me. He hates he everybody. Doesn't. That's the exactly. thing. Exactly. And, Thank you, and ironically, that's why people love him. <laughs> yeah. He's hated people for forty years. And that's his career. And people yeah. love him. <laughs> he's he's that's amazing. So no, it's you gotta, true. You gotta it's be true. known for something. Oh, that's the guy I love because he hates. Maddie. Maddie <laughs> invented the bubble. 
Okay. He invented <laughs> the bubble. Maddie has the the smallest bubble in the whole world. It just covers his whole head. <laughs> and but he's he's amazing at what he does. Well, and he, he's said. a legend. Oh, that's he's a legend. He really is. So uh, look, look at this. <laughs> He's going to kill me. He's going to play this tape, and he's going to slay me for three hours well, on his next show. He's going to call me and kill me later, too. Yeah, Don't exactly. worry. We'll die together. He's already killed me, so I'm done. I'm, de- I'm, I'm yeah. dead to him. So we're gonna... <laughs> oh, no, you're so not. Anyway, let's talk about this. You know, let's, let's go back to Boston. I mean, if have you written a book, by the way? Never. Okay, okay. let's look at the book you would write. You started a kid in Boston yeah. with, these, with these other guys. This will never work. Four, five guys singing. You know, it'll yeah. never And then look what that became. New yeah. Kids on the Block. And then... Then you, you that yeah. happens and it happens big for you. Yeah. And then you go off and you get married. You have a family. Mm-hmm. You're in L. A. You're doing shows in New York. Yeah. Look at your life. Look at all the stuff you've done since I'm, being a kid in Boston. I've, I've been incredibly blessed. I mean, that also started with being the youngest of nine kids. First of all, so wow. seven older sisters that kept me in line, and um, and and it also started with community theater. So it started with theater and then I joke that, you know, it was held up by, you know, this group called Nuka's on the Block, right. you know, it ripped me away from my theater career. Yeah, what a, uh, what yeah, a exactly. hole in the road that one. Um, no, I've I've been very very blessed and of course like no matter, you know, how lucky you are, there's ups and downs and it's how you kind of go through that stuff and figure out what's right for you, but um, you know, I I keep getting opportunities and I try to make the most of them. So and so now, here you are living in New York City yeah. in one of the biggest plays, the biggest shows on Broadway, yeah. right? On Broadway. Yeah. But very you've, cool. you've done off Broadway. I've you're, done off Broadway. You, yeah. you were in Wicked. I, mean, yeah. you've, you've... I didn't know you were Fierro in Wicked. That's so yes, cool. Yes, I was. I was Fierro number two. I was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was early in, I got to do it with Adina Menzel right after she won the Tony. Wow. And it's, that what was a time to be there. Massive huh? hit. Yeah. 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 So it's what cool. is it about being on that stage every night? Because uh, let's be honest, it's the same script, it's the same songs, yeah. it's the same everything, but there's something about that energy on that stage yeah. with that audience. Talk about that. Well, you just, um, you just, it's great that first of all you get a, another whack at it, you know, every day. I, you have to love doing eight shows a week, right? I mean, like you, you have to love doing this, and you know, don't. every day. <laughs> And um, you have to, it's a drive, it's a grind, but we're all lucky to, you know, have the opportunity. But I don't, yeah, it never gets, it never gets old because there's always a different way. It's it's all about being in the moment, right? As, as much as possible, you know, without forcing it or overdoing it. But, you know, that that exercise of just going back and forth and finding different ways to, you know, communicate with your fellow actor and, and the live audience I love it in this day and age where everything can be edited and tuned and scripted and all that stuff, but it's live theater is live. That's yeah. it. And, and, the, and the audience is part of the experience, which is great. Our audience is different at a matinee than at like a night show. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah tell I us, mean, tell us how that works. Um, it's, you know, well, first of all, what I, what I always say is like, no matter what the audience, they all paid the same amount of money. So it, they, they're allowed to do whatever they, you know, want to do. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I mean, I, I noticed uh, on a Thursday, last Thursday, the first act, people were good audience, but second act, they were like, woo! And it made sense because it's Thursday, right? They go to work, show's at 7. They didn't have time to have a drink, but they had a drink at intermission. Yes, they did. And now they're really having a good time. <laughs> yes, we did. Now they're really loving the show. Yeah. So there's all that kind of stuff. And yeah, matinee is going to be different, you know? Um, no one's drinking. No one's really drinking. Oh, no, we do. Yeah. I get good and tanked for a matinee. I have no problem yeah. with that. There you go. We call those Bloody Marys. Oh. Yes. Hey, you know what? And you notice something. And I have, all my friends who do stage work, I, they agree. We notice this in live radio, too. Uh, it's got to be something to do with the title, with the waves and the moon. Everyone is in the same sort of mood every day. You can have a full moon night, and everyone's, ah, woo. And we yeah. learned that on our show as well. And then yeah. the next day, there's something else going on. Everyone just is hateful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Evil people. And that is it, funny. You do it live every day. But here you are on that stage. It, the difference in doing live stage versus a TV show mm-hmm. in the editing, as you were talking about, is you're, you're out there without a net. Yeah. Because if you fall, you're falling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, but if you can find a way to make a fall fun and fit in, that's got to be even more rewarding to screw up and fix it. Yeah. For sure. I mean, you uh, you got to be okay with that and maybe be excited about that and, and use it for an opportunity. But, you know, the more experience you have with it, it the, the easier it is. I, it's, uh, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. What are, your, what are some of your biggest 
f ups. I mean, um, <laughs> like, you, you just know you're not great. You know, at going back and as far as the book is concerned, there was when I was six years old. I was in this uh, group called Neighborhood Children's of uh, Children's Theater. And just 60 kids in red shirts with their names on it, and we'd sing songs and pass the hat and go to Disney World or, you know, New York, you know, for a trip. That was our big thing. And so I had this uh, this first song. I had a little soldier's outfit, and I was six years old, and I stood up there, and I'm, well, everyone here kindly step to the It was this whole thing, and I had a soldier's outfit. And what I didn't know is, because the pants were over another pair of jeans, is that my pants were slowly falling down <laughs> as I'm marching. So A wardrobe malfunction. And again, experience. So that happened to me early, and I didn't think much of it. Um, I guess I've been pretty lucky, knock, knock on wood. I, I sing this song in the show called uh, You Matter to Me, and the girl who's playing Jenna right now, Stephanie Torrance, who's amazing. I mean, she's uh, her voice is unbelievable. You're very close. You're like right up against each other. And Sarah writes these very complicated melodies, and they're connecting, and I'm singing one part, and she's singing another. And last night, I was paying way too much attention to what Stephanie was singing instead of what I was singing, so... Something came out of my mouth. I you matter to do or instead of to me. I don't know what it was, and I had to like keep a straight face. And she's a pro, so like we're like eye to eye. And I'm like, if she breaks, I'm done. But we we were able to. Uh, I guess it wasn't that bad. But you know, it's kind of like you know, it can be exciting. That kind of stuff can be yeah. exciting. How do you, wait? How do you not spit on each other when you're singing? Oh, they like do. That? They do. <laughs> well, we we uh, make out, so there's plenty of <laughs> fluids being exchanged. All right, right, yeah. right in front of you. Yeah, remember, good when times. We, remember spring. Ask oh, me why I do theater because I get to go. make out with. He loves fluids. Other people. <laughs> Yeah. I remember when Spring Awakening first came out. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Leah Michelle, and they were right on stage, and they I've never seen so much spit. That's because the lead male spit like crazy. They all I know. spit yeah. all uh, each other. Nathan Lane is a crazy spitter, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's everything sprays, but I do that a lot, too. I have, I've noticed I haven't done it much in, in this show, but uh, normally I just I let it fly. We knew about Nathan Lane being a, sp- a spitter, but, right. that was, but that was from a date I went on with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh. Anyway, so every night you got to get up there. It, it is a script, and there are things you have to say, otherwise the script doesn't make sense. The, yes. the conversation doesn't make sense. Yeah. I could see how I would mess it up, Joey, and I would mm. I would forget my line, and then I would just say something stupid that doesn't matter, and then it, it, it changes the entire story. Right, right. you're done. Because I had a friend who was in a show, I forgot what it was, he came off stage, and she said, you know, you just called me grandma on stage. <laughs> oh, my God. And he should have said, like, dad. Debra. Well, he called her grandma. Wow, that's he, the thing is he was just he just rave really, reviews though. Well, yeah, Peter, no, that lasted three days. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, it's the same script every night, and if you don't pay attention, you're gonna forget. Yeah, you can't get too comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I've only done it for about a week and a half. That I had one or two moments. Um, but the guy, this guy is uh, kind of a nervous uh, guy. This this doctor. So I kind of played it off, you know what I mean? It just seemed like he was nervous. But for a second, I was like, okay, I really don't know what line's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, you're out there with pros who will pick you up. Absolutely. And, and you'll, you'll be there for them when they forget a line, yeah. too. You know? Maybe. Uh, I do have to ask you a very personal question. This is where people get very nervous. Oh, boy. I don't have to ask it. Should I ask it? Yes. Yeah. Are you the, the answer are, is yes. Are you the rabbit in the masked singer? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> They're going through all the new kids. I've, I've, yeah. like, for instance, I, apparently they brought my name up in one of them. So I was like, people were asking me. So I Googled it. And the first thing was this big article about how it's Jordan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and then, and now they're getting to Donnie, Donnie I guess. So, yeah. Donnie's the one for today. Yeah, Donnie, yeah, Donnie's, yeah, Donnie's the one for today. So it's you. It's <laughs> me. I'm flying back sense. and forth. What? Because Donnie's wife is one of the judges. That's so right. Donnie would oh. make right. Sense. right, right, right. It'd right. be a. I uh, yeah. Gonna, we'll not, see. Does who? Uh, what's the consensus though? Who it is? They think you're they good. Say it was Joey for Joey, it, If it's you, you're good. I by know. The way. Yeah, I'm flying back and forth. I think it's uh, it's gonna be someone like totally off, like Pink. I don't know. No. Uh, let's go talk to Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Hi. So you saw Waitress last night. Now pretend, last pretend night, Joey's awesome. not here. Pretend Joey McIntyre is not here. Uh-oh. And just oh, let okay. us let us. He needs to know the truth. <laughs> How did he do last night? Oh, he was great. He was adorable. He was one of the best parts of the show. We didn't Aww. want to hear that. That was kind of tepid, though. For, for a fan calling in, <laughs> you know, I was expecting amazing, but she kept it real. She kept it real. Yeah. It, it is he a... was great. He was cute. Yeah. No, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. It's a fun show, right? 
Sure. Yeah, I went with my uh, two of my girlfriends for one of their birthdays. Oh, nice. Aww. Was he rabbit like? <laughs> what? Was he like a rabbit? I was hopping around stage. I, yeah. It's hard to play both roles and not confuse them. <laughs> there, I mean, there is. I mean, it, even though it's a fun, festive musical, there is like a there is a love scene in there. Oh. There is a yeah. Yeah, There's, that was intense. Oh, good. Talk See, there it. you go. Oh, intense. Good. That's what I'm looking for. Lisa, talk about it. Talk about the, the, the intense love scene I that Joey McIntyre was talking about that on the radio. You don't, oh, wow. Oh, okay. How See? intense was it? Well, he, I don't know. He, he, he does it right there in the exam room. Uh, like a rabbit? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <You're doing laughs> full circle. I am. <laughs> All right. Well, Lisa, uh, it sounds like uh, anyone who's going to see Waitress, uh, they're going to get their money's worth and more. Yeah. Uh, thank, you for your, <laughs> thank you for your tepid review, but I think it was right yeah. on spot. Yeah, thank you. It's all good. So there you go. Yeah. Look at you, Mr. Broadway star. I like it. I like it. I'm in. Have you seen uh, The Prom? No, oh, but we have. So funny. I hear it's great. Yeah. Here's uh-huh. why you need to see it. Okay. Everyone who is a fan of Broadway or if you are in the Broadway community, you have to see these characters in the show The Prom because they are the quintessential diva, Crazy. egomaniac. Okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's pretty great. Why is Gandhi upset? You owe her family money. Oh, yeah. Of course I do. This goes back. This goes back a long way. Generations? I, yes. <laughs> really? Generations. I happen to agree with her on this. If that I would mean you, I would whip like, out my Amex. How far back? Um. So it was my older sister. I don't have oh, a super clear memory of it. Oh, I thought you meant like it. generations. No, I mean I would say maybe like 25, 30 Wait, years. Okay. What happened? Okay. Uh, so is this like a fan club thing or something? Kinda. Yeah. So you know what I'm gonna say? Uh, it's wow. you know how, how many class action? It's not all the same. It's I swear it's not all. How the many same. class action lawsuits are there against the new kids on the block? <laughs> From the fan club. Okay, go. Tell okay, them what happened. Okay, so my older sister was the biggest fan ever, and you guys used to have a 900 number oh, where geez. you claimed. If you called and left a message for one of the guys, one of the guys would call you back. So she went and asked my parents if she could do it. They said yes, mm. and she called probably 150, 200 times. Yeah. And then we got the phone bill. And by oh, the way, none of you ever called her back. So she's right. still heartbroken about this. Wow. Then we got the phone bill for thousands of dollars. And the only way to get out of it was if my parents promised to put a 900 block on the phone that to this day is still on their landline. Mm. And I blame you guys for that. So that much- they paid ten dollars a month for, and I bet the phone company is still charging them. <laughs> but, but you know, th- there's there are a couple of bad things, Joey. First yeah. of all, uh, the family was out a couple of thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm. But secondly, none of the guys ever called her back. Nope. It's on the air. Nine hundred. So what we're gonna do now? That's good. We're gonna call her sister. Oh my God, okay. she's gonna be so happy. And now, no money will be owed because the payoff is gonna happen. Nice. I gotta tell you, okay with that? Can we get that in writing, though, before? No, no. Oh, Does this call? You're good. You're yeah. an attorney, too. <laughs> I want you to set it up first, and then this I'll get on the, the phone. This is the first time to the rodeo. For What's her? That's right. <laughs> her name is Priya. Okay, well, she's, on the, she's on the line right now. You hang up the phone. We got her. Oh, you got her? Oh. Yeah, you got to talk to her. Priya. Reminder of the story. Because I'm sure she's like hung over from eating all those edibles last night or whatever she does. She Whoa. doesn't do that. Really? She's a pediatric nurse practitioner. Ooh. <laughs> well, she's got to answer. Come on, Priya, answer she's the phone. Otherwise, phone Joey owes her twenty five hundred dollars. Hold on, I'm texting. Yeah, you that that answer. that I wouldn't call it a scam. It was just not a great deal. That nine hundred. <laughs> Priya, number. I understand. Call, leave oh. me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, what, if, what about a voicemail from a new kid? At the tone. Please record you your message. Start? Tell her. Yeah. When you have finished no, recording, you may hang up or I'll press it, one for more options. No, you wanna... Hey, Pre, it's me. Um, I was calling because Joey McIntyre is in the studio, and we finally got the call back. Well, you're getting the call back that you never yeah. got when we were little that you ended up having a $1,000 phone bill for. So, Joey. You know, funny, we have a list of all the, the names that we need to call back, and we've been going through them for the last 30 years, and Priya was next on my list, and it's it's all perfect, right? Yeah. So, Priya, here's the call. <sighs> Sorry it took so long to get back to you. <laughs> you are my Valentine girl. You've got the right stuff. I'll be loving you forever. And please, please don't go, girl. All right? So let's let's keep in touch. Talk to you in the next 30 years. <laughs> don't stop loving us. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. Right. She's going to be so happy. See? Yay. Making a wrong a right. See? Look, what you, look what you did there. I did all those old school, because back then, that's how we talked all the time. Yeah, didn't you blow yeah. her mind this I time? didn't buy, I did, I just oh, blew please. her mind. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Look, you know, we're sitting here showing oh, so much love uh, to Waitress. Yeah. Uh, the the, the mixtape tour, 
New Kids, Salt and Peppa, Tiffany, yeah. Debbie Gibson, and Naughty by Nature. How much fun is it backstage at those things? Or is it just like the worst thing ever no, that you, that you no, wish you never blast. signed on for? No, it's the Tell blast. me, well, how do you feel when you do it? Well, we, I mean, we, <clears throat> that's the best the best part that sometimes i mean just the backstage just hang is 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 always fun and we've been trying to you know tour with salt and pepper for a long time and uh, the for, best. for yeah for yeah. obvious reasons um and naughty by nature we've been hanging out with them and doing parties and and they're kind of like part of the family now and then of course Tiffany gave us our big break, you know, on on her tour years ago, and Debbie Gibson is amazing. So it's a great kind of melting pot of you know, awesome pop, you know, music from back in the day, and we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Now, I mean, we're not talking clubs; we're talking massive. Oh no! Like stadiums? No, no, yeah, no. It's uh, it's arena, big, awesome. big but arena these tours. Things sell out because people want to go. Very yeah, we I do want very to well. I know. We do very well. Our fans, <laughs> you know, want to have a good time, and we come out and give them the time of their life. When you when are you guys rolling through New York, is a mixtape coming to New York or yeah, close by? Uh, we're we're uh, splitting aces, as they say in the industry, Elvis. <laughs> uh, we'll do uh, Jersey and Long Island. Oh, All right, cool. Yeah. Yes, so, we're yeah. going. We're taking the yeah. show. Yeah. I so, want to go. Yeah. So do a Google on mixtape tour and see how close they're going to be to you, and just go support these artists that are just actually part of the, the foundation of everything you hear on the music on the mm-hmm. radio. Today. Day. Uh Joey, waitress. How long are you in waitress? Do you know? Till April seventh. Yes. And then what? The tour. Yeah. I gotta get ready for the tour. Because the tour starts May first. So congratulations on Thanks. everything. Yeah. Having you here is just great. It's yeah. awesome to yeah. see you. So waitress, uh get there soon. He's, he's there till April seventh. Yes. Uh and the show. With and without Joey, it's fantastic. But it with Joey McIntyre in it, it makes it extra fantastic. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Joey McIntyre. Yay. Yay.